Hey everybody, I'm Holly Love. And I'm Rich Bonaducci. And you are watching Talk 365. On location at Consign and Design. our show everybody we are obviously on location here at consign and design now we love these guys and yo do you just like not have a razor what's going on man actually this is this is my monday scruff i shaved on the weekend you are wolverine survival scruff into the next my week. survival scruff was wednesday of last week i still have my thing because i loved it so much i did shower it smells like shampoo but this is just, you know what? This is styling now. People just do this. So do I. Who, who, Look, by, you can hear it. By people, who do we mean? People who don't have razors, people who... You know what? Art of Shaving or the Razor folks, the Dollar Razor Club, let's talk. <laughs> we'll do the monthly thing. Maybe I'll use them. If maybe, not, this maybe, is on you. Maybe this Rich will fault. clean up for us. Okay, let's get back to, wh why are we here? We're here because Consign and Design is awesome. They helped us design the set. They helped us paint everything and all that stuff. And they can help you too. They don't just consign. They design. And we're going to talk about that today. We've had so much fun working with them. Our set is still a work in progress. We're still not done. We're still trying to pick color for our brick. and our. They, it is a blast to work with Jaina and Erica. But before we get to even that part of this whole thing, you have some news you can use that sort of inspired us to come here today. Sure. Because it's spring. Spring cleaning, you're probably moving stuff out, changing stuff, itching to redecorate. And he has some financial news you can use for today that goes right along with that. And right here at Consign and Design. But before we get that, you wanted to say thank you to some people. Oh, that's true. Our GoFundMe is still out there. We're up to about just over 10% of what we were going for. So nice. People still giving us money. Thank you so much for doing that. And of course, <clears throat> continue to do it, please. But anyway, thank you very much for the folks who have already donated because we are we are doing this for the sake of if we have some more equipment we have the ability to go out and shoot things that otherwise we probably wouldn't be able to do because we couldn't afford it we can't sponsor everything and have everything sponsored and there's some great local stories out there about great small companies great things people are doing yeah. that we would like to cover we would like to be out there more to bring those stories to you that otherwise don't get attention yeah we saw some of those at the uh, at the expo mm -hmm. and we love to do some more of that but we need a little bit more equipment to do it so yes. that's what so that's doing. why that's what you're funding in the whole scheme of things yeah. okay back to this yeah what is this this is because you told me about your news you can use and I told you I have this table I was gonna throw away oh don't don't knock yourself out yet I need you for the rest of the show then you can um, you were telling me about your news you can use, spring cleaning, saving money that way, because it is our financial news you can use, brought to you by University Credit Union, and take it away. That's right. With spring cleaning, you can clean up. There are lots of ways that you can actually make money with just that stuff laying around your house that you don't really want, maybe like this one, mm -hmm. or that you like, but it's, uh, it's a little beat up or something like that. A lot of folks donate, and that's fine. You can bring it to DI. They ask you if you want a receipt because you can write that off in your taxes. You can even do that with a car that doesn't work. Maybe you got a car that, oh, you always meant to go fix up, but you just haven't. Mm -hmm. You can actually donate that car and get a tax write-off. You can also donate it to cars for kids mm -hmm. and raise money for kids or for people that need kidneys and things like that. If you have a car that you loaned to a friend and maybe they gave back to you broken, you can donate that car. Oh, my gosh. It's never going to die, is it? It, it is never going to die. It happens. I just realized what you were saying. I sort of was like off looking at all the awesome furniture and stopped listening for a minute. Kill me. Yeah, but you can do that. But you can also do that with items like this. Yes. But before you ever load that into a car, if it's something that's really big, like a table or a couch or whatever, mm -hmm. take a picture of it and send it to the good folks at Consign and Design. They can get a look at it on the phone and just basically let you know if it's even worth bringing, dragging it right mm -hmm. some things they know are going to sell some things they know they can fix up they are consigned and designed mm -hmm. and then sell but some things not so much it's all yours yeah. <laughs> put it out at the sidewalk or take it to Good the eye yeah. you can do that mm -hmm. but if you end up bringing it here or if you end up loading it up to go to di 
Come by here you first. You might as well. Let them take a look at it. They might buy it right off you right there for like, oh, you know what, that's worth something, 20 bucks. Or they can help you come up with a design. Maybe it's something that they can work on for you. Of course, you pay them for their, for their uh, you know, expertise, but maybe it's something that you're just gonna let them fix up and you get back, or fix up and sell, mm -hmm. or consign. Of course, the consign part of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk with Jane about the details of this later, but basically, you leave your stuff here, you let them sell it for you. Ooh. Yeah. This and Erica- a whole little business opportunity oh, if you've got lots of stuff. Absolutely, and some folks, they look at their table and go, oh, that's not very good looking. They bring it in here and Erica dresses it up. It looks like that. Which is amazing. And then someone wants to buy it and you get half of that. That's awesome. Yeah, so we'll talk with her about those details in there. So right now, spring cleanup, this is where you want to come. Because you know what? The other thing too is you might think that it's you need all brand new furniture. Mm -hmm. These guys can help you decide how to tie your stuff together better with paint or make a mm -hmm. piece pop. And all of a sudden, you don't need to go spend thousands of dollars getting new stuff. You just use what you have. That's right. Yeah. Like this right here, you know? You like this. I love it. But you I just, just want it like, different. I want it a little more poppy, a little more yeah. fun. And so I knew... I knew once we, I heard this, this is what we needed to do. So let's go find Jaina, um, and we'll talk to her. We'll get all of those details. So don't go anywhere. More to come from Consign and Design right after this. Today's financial news you can use brought to you by University Credit Union. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. Lashes for the Talk 365 team provided by Sweet Lash. Welcome back to Talk 365. We are still at Consign and Design in Farmington, correct? Yes, 1050 West Shepherd Lane in Farmington. You can also check them out on Facebook. We're here with Jaina, who is the owner, operator, the goddess of all things consignment. Is that your official title? Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it today. It is now. Okay. okay. So we talked earlier about what different people can do when they have something that uh, maybe they want to give away, maybe they want to sell. They think garage, they think DI, who knows what, maybe a yard sale, but they can take it here and there are a lot of options they have through consign and design because you're not just a consignment store, but there's a design aspect too. So if I brought in something like this, Hello. say, Right. Holly's table. Holly's table. <laughs> Let's just say I, w I had loaded that into my car. I was on my way to DI and I thought, I'm going to stop by here and see what you guys can do with it. What could you do with something? Well, first of all, what we could do is if you just want to consign that piece and make some money on it, because okay. we're all about a little extra cash, especially this time of year. What? We're cleaning out garages and redoing things. We might be downsizing our home. We might be moving, getting a divorce. Someone died. All sorts of things happen in this life. This took a weird turn, but I okay. know, sorry. <laughs> but those are the things I deal with. Downsize, divorce, death, and just redoing. And, and, and so. uh, good things too. Like <laughs> just getting rid of some old stuff yes. because you're moving into a tiny home. True. There you go. True. No one has to die to come here. <laughs> so say that you bring this in and you want to make a little cash. So I say, hey, Rich, do you already have an account with us? And you say... No. No, I don't. Jana, what do you mean by that? So what we do is I give you a little paper to fill out. You give us some basic information, your name and phone number, etc. And then we set an account up. We take this little piece and I look at it and say, well, it looks like your grandmother's vintage table. So I think what it may be worth. And if it's something that I think will sell in my store. So say that I put a price of $99 on this little piece. Once it sells, you get half that money. And you can call, you can come in, we can look your account up just with a phone call, and then you can come in and pick a checkup or cash or use it for in-store credit. That's awesome. So, okay, so the thing that I thought I'm just going to give away, you guys are actually doing all the work of selling it for me, and I get half that money. Exactly. That is right. That is a deal. Okay, what else could we do with that? So say that you came in and you wanted to keep it. It's dear to your heart, but it doesn't quite fit with your color tone. It doesn't actually work in your space. Then we could possibly paint it for you and say, where do you want to use this fun little piece? Do you want to put this in your bedroom? Do you want to put this in your living room? What do you want to do with it? So we talked through some options. We have different kinds of paint, different paint colors. 
So those are options also. So what if it's something I'm just like, hey, I, I don't really care for this thing. What do you think it's worth? Would you just buy it off me and then you do whatever you want with it? So sometimes people just come with a pickup and they just cruise right in front of the store and they say, hey, we're kind of on our way to DI, but we thought there might be something of value that you might want. So they stop and I'll we'll just run out and say, hey, well, this old oak piece of furniture or possibly bookshelf. They're like, yeah, it's kind of broken, but we really like bookshelves. Possibly they sell really good. So we might say, hey, we'll do some work on it, whatever. I'll give you 20 bucks for that because it's not in good shape right now. So then it becomes mine. So if I've already paid them out, it just becomes ours. Then we may take it back in our paint room, paint it, fix it up, do a little gluing, whatever it needs, make it awesome, and then we can turn it and sell it. Okay, so for something that flipping I, furniture, flipping furniture, our new show coming up. Uh, but for something that I so I don't really care about, and I don't really want to wait around and see what it's. You just give me twenty bucks or whatever, and I'm done. I've got my cash, and then you do whatever with it. But what if it's something really big, and I don't feel like getting my buddy's <laughs> truck and all that? Uh, we talked earlier. I can just take a picture of something and send it to you, and yes, correct. Huh. You can just text me a picture, or you could send it to our email. Either way works. So when people call the store, I just say, hey, if it's a big item, it's a sofa, it's a big um, kitchen table, whatever it is that's big, send me a picture. And then I can answer them. Yes, I think that will sell in my store. No, so sorry. Okay. Try it on KSL, whatever. Okay, and so uh, what if it is something that, oh, you want, but I don't have a truck. Do you guys have a way of getting it, uh, you know, picking it up at my house or? Yes, work? we can also do that. That's for sure an option. We'd have like a minimum charge. We do have a big box truck. Then okay. I need help. It depends on do you have a lot of help at your house? You can help us load it. Do I need to bring two men? You know, what is the deal? Okay. And how far away you are? How much time? Is it in a basement? Is it upstairs? You know, lots of factors. And maybe the final one, and this probably doesn't happen that often, but what if I just want some advice? I want some help. I definitely like this. I don't want to sell it. I want to keep it. Can you guys like work on it for me and give it back? Of course. So if you want something just Hello. painted, that's Kinda me. Like she that's does. you. That's what I am. That's my, that's yeah. my situation. Yeah. So I, you I can just this. bring it in and say, hey, I love this. I want it repainted. I want to use it in my bedroom. We can do it for you and do a charge on the painting, the sanding, the glazing, whatever we do for it. So we'll work okay. out a price on that. So the design part of consignment yes. design comes into play and I don't have to sell it to anyone. I get it back totally cool and new. Yes, absolutely. That's yeah. awesome. Fun option. I can options. do it myself. Or I, you can do it yourself we, as another we option. Can we can do it myself. We, I love that. <laughs> that's, my, that's my favorite new segment. We, we can do it myself. With Jaina, which there is how go. we've done our entire set. Yes. Yes. Well, tell you what, why don't we let them go do it herself? Uh huh. And uh, and we'll talk about that. We're in gonna a couple chat with minutes. Erica, right? She's gonna help me because yes. you guys have amazing paint here. We do. That people come from all over for general finishes. Finishes. Yes. It's the bomb, and it makes it so you can actually get a professional look from something that you did do yourself, or we did myself. Correct. Chalk paint or milk Erica. paint. We did myself. Here okay, that's a new one. That's a new Hollyism. We'll be back with more on Talk 365 right after this, but really quickly, where can they send those pictures? You mentioned an email. Okay, they can send them to consign and design 1050 at gmail.com. <laughs> sure? Yes. Okay. If not, check on Facebook. I'm sure all the information yes. is there. Yes. And my cell phone is on um, Facebook as well. And you can text me a picture. It's the easiest way to get the quickest response because, you know, we're all addicted to our cell phones. That's true. Okay. We'll be more. We'll be more. We'll... I will put that stuff on the screen. I'll be designing myself. <laughs> we'll be back with Holly designing by herself in just a minute. Lashes for the Talk 365 team. Yes, that's you, Rich. Just kidding, it's Holly, provided by Sweet Lash. Look, I get it. I get that going back to school is a logical next step. It's a smart move, Stan. I just want to be sure all the effort pays off. Sure, WGU gets that. They create their courses with help from leading companies, so you get the skills employers want. So I'm more likely to get the job that I want. Right. Okay, I'm going to go for it. a boy, Stan. Strong mind. Strong money. Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU, it's a new kind of view. Set design for Talk 365 is provided in part by Consign and Design. Okay, we made it back to the paint section. We found Miss Erica. Erica, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, okay. So this is the piece 
Mr. Rich Bonaducci told me, I can't throw away. You guys are going to make it beautiful. Um, tell me the difference with this paint versus other paint. And there's something about milk and chalk. We have been working on our set, and you guys have been doing a fantastic job making brick look real, and we keep changing our minds, and this stuff is amazing. So give me all the 411 goods about it. Okay, so we have the milk paint. There's General Finishes has a milk paint and a chalk paint. Um, the milk paint's more popular for like cabinets, like things that are touched a lot. It's a lot more durable than the chalk paint. Okay. Um, it's easier to use. It's self-leveling. Um, we usually recommend the milk paint over the chalk paint. Okay. Uh, the chalk paint will give it more of like a distressed look. Uh -huh. um, it's easier to like sand and chip off and stuff like that. So milk, I would think it's more creamy, more maybe shiny a little bit, and chalk is obviously a little bit more chalky, maybe a little bit more matte. Yeah, um, the milk paint will dry its natural finishes flat. It mm -hmm. won't be shiny at all um, without a top coat. The chalk paint's a little bit more flat. It's kind of thicker, more chalky. Yeah. Things, like you would say. It yeah. pretty much itself describes itself. The chalk paint's more popular. You probably hear a lot about the chalk paint and it's not chalkboard paint. I was you just going to say. You can't write. Like it doesn't turn it into a chalkboard. It's just kind of the finish. Because that's a big thing too that and that's not uh -huh. this ever. No. Okay. Yeah. It's more the finish of the paint more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just the paint itself is more chalky. Basically, my thing is, I love the whole Tiffany blue, Jaina, and I, get in here, Jaina. Jaina and I have that in common, and I, I wanna make it just more like of a piece instead of, it kind of blends in. What would you recommend? You are the one that does this. You are being super Erica shy. Erica is fabulous. She Erica is, fabulous. is. You are the you are the one that has been Pinteresting our set. You are like my set designer right now, basically, <laughs> this girl right here. So, like, I guess to start with, their general finishes, like with milk paint and chalk paint, their thing is, um, no prep work, um, so you okay. wouldn't have to send it down. You wouldn't have to like you would. This you would. I always send it down just a little bit, just to rough it up, um, just so that the paint It'll you like make just to be sure that the paint will stick. Um, but you wouldn't have to get it down to like bare wood or anything. You can paint nice. over this okay. because this already has paint on it. Yeah. So that makes a difference. It's just kind of boring and kind of. I mean, it's blue. It's in there, but it just. I think we could go more. Yeah. And some gold. You can always make me happy with gold. <laughs> right? Okay. But we'll start with the blue or something, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so where's your paint samples? Where do we go? So are you thinking chalk paint for this one, Erica, since it seems pretty, or do you want to flip to milk? You Don't look are at you me, girl. Okay, are you wanting it distressed and chippy and vintage looking, or do you want more of a clean line with an all over color? Wow. There's your two choices. What do I want, Erica? I think I want distressed and chippy. Okay, then we go to the chalk paint. So there are some color choices. Okay, here's my Show color choices. A lot of pale colors. And then when you were talking about the surface and the chalk mm -hmm. feel of it, you can change, especially on the milk paint, with your top coat. So we have top coats in flat, flat, uh -huh. satin, semi-gloss, high gloss. So you can choose the finish that you actually put on the top of your piece. Okay, so give me, give me my options again, because I think I want to look at the milk paint one more now, too, for the colors. So my options between chalk and milk would be, if I want, say, the whole distressy, chippy, what, are, what would it be? So milk paint, I'm going to get a more clean. Yes, it just doesn't lend itself. You still can chip it and distress it, mm -hmm. but the chalk paint, especially for this old vintage piece, would lend itself more for this for the period. Yes, for the period. And okay. for you wanting it vintage and chippy, it's just easier to chip off. Okay. Where the milk paint is really more for durability. If you're doing a dining room table, you're mm -hmm. going to be eating at that. You're going to be wiping it off. Mm -hmm. Cabinetry, milk paint. So. But I really like that patina green. Oh, you love the color. <laughs> Mm, Let's see. The what do you closest think? to the patina is the Key West, but it's not as bright. The it has a little blue more. Could be kind of cool. Yeah. When it's the Parisian not blue be, is awesome. Yeah. Okay, Rich, I might need a minute to decide this, but, but moral of the story being, okay, so we're gonna. Well, I mean, what would you recommend, Erica? We like patina. The walls patina. Yeah. So. This giant wall <laughs> we're standing in front of is pretty much patina. You can still. I mean, you can still distress. Yeah, of course paint, you can. Um, it won't be as chippy as the chalk paint would, but if you love the color, then I would Then you go with your I think we, I think we have to go do a little bit of testing, and, and let's just go get started. What do you say? I want to know what you would do. What would you do with this, Jane, if this was yours? So 
I am not sure exactly where you got it. I think you just picked it up, but say it came from my family and it was a family heirloom and it okay. meant something to my heart and I wanted to keep it in my home. Mm -hmm. So I would decide where I wanted to put it. Mm -hmm. If that were me, because my bedroom colors are that, it would mm -hmm. go maybe in my bedroom with some cute little, I don't know, flowers on the top. Maybe you put jewelry on it. Maybe you just have, you know, cute little dirty your heart things on it. So I wouldn't stray too far from this color. We did not paint this, just no. to be sure of that. Holly found this piece and it already is painted, but it's not painted in our great general finishes chalk paint. So, but I, I can just put paint right on it. Yep, I don't have we to can. do anything. We're gonna maybe just do a little light sand because this painting is not like the very greatest. So maybe we're gonna just buff it up a little. Mm -hmm. But this color, do you love this color? Yes, so you, you know I love these colors. that my favorite is the Tiffany blue and I okay. love kind of going crazy, but you were advising me a little bit to not be too trendy because I right. really do love this piece. Yes, and I think you want it to stay and it's okay to have a piece in your space that really has color mm -hmm. and is a, not like a focus piece, but maybe a conversation piece mm -hmm. and something that you love. Your whole rest of your room might be grays and neutrals and pals, but you can have one pop of something fun yeah. that speaks to your heart that means something to you. Yeah. So if you do something like this Key West Blue in the uh -huh. chalk paint and when you distress the edges, which means you're going to take a sander and take some of that paint off, okay. you'll show some of these other colors down through it and you may even get to the bare wood. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So now you were saying that there's a technique, Erica, too, where you can combine the milk paint and the chalk paint. How does that work? Is that something I'd want to do? So you could mix them. Okay. They're mixable. All of the general finishes Ooh. paints. You can mix milk paint and milk paint, chalk paint and chalk paint, chalk paint and milk paint. At Just all. sort of customize a color. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> That's what we want to do. Oh dear, now we're going somewhere crazy. <laughs> Ooh, this just got exciting. Yikes. Okay, so that's fun. And does that obviously maybe make the chalky a little less chalky and the milk a little more roughed up? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. that's really fun. Combine the two a little bit. So people come from all over for this brand of paint specifically. It's a rare find. Why is it such a big deal? Just we're one of the only stores in like the valley that carries it. Uh -huh. um, and it just... It's amazing. So people go on Pinterest, right, on YouTube, all over the place, mm -hmm. and we get a phone call, I bet, almost every day. Hey, do you have general finishes? Do you have the Java gel stain? They don't Ooh. even need to see the co say the color. Mm -hmm. As soon as they start going down the, do you carry the general finishes gel stain? I'm like, okay, they're wanting Java. So then we always try and keep a big supply of Java gel stain. So what is the thing with that? Because we talked about that for our set. So the Java gel stain, the Java is the color, but the gel stain is a really easy application. And for some reason, people are going to, do we want to throw anyone under? Some of the big box stores and buying like Minwax or I don't know, different brands of mm -hmm. stain and they're not having a good experience. And they're trying to re-stain like their whole stair mm -hmm. railing and do all these fun things, but they just, it it's not working out. for them. So then they get on the internet and they're like, what do I use? What is the best? Apparently, this is it. I don't even have to sell it. They I just come it. to us. I love it. So it's so, basically what it sounds like is it's actually user friendly. You get is. a very professional look and it's something you can do yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is really fun. So I am excited. Thank you so much for the consultation, Erica. I know you have to take off on me here in a minute, but I appreciate your help. And then you can see what we concocted maybe when you come over to the set again next. <laughs> yeah. Are you scared? Are you scared for Jaina? Yes. A little bit. <laughs> we'll have fun. I'll, I'll keep it fun. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to me, Miss Erica. We will be um, working on this, and then we'll catch up with you when we do our event show, which we're going to talk about later, too. I'm so excited about because we are going to paint porch chairs. So you and I, you think you're getting out of painting with me? Uh-uh, sister. We're going to have some more fun. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Come on. Enough All right. On, enough on me here. I'll try not to trip over the cord. Painting room. Painting room. Here we go. We were chatting with Jaina earlier when an actual customer came in and we wanted to chat with her a little bit. Uh, so you come in here quite a bit. Yes, I do. Okay. What's your name? Diana Adams. And so you not only come in here quite a bit, you've come in here for a long time. Yes. Got a lot of stuff from Consign yes. and Design. She's just amazing. Just amazing. And I love her store. I've bought quite a few things from here and I've been great satisfied. She always has something that I need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only been in here a few times, but every time I come in, there's something new and different. You come in a lot more often. Yes, Is I that do. the same for you? Yes, it is. Huh. I come in all the time. So you buy things from here, sure, but have you ever had them consign something for you? Yes, do you drop I have. things off? Oh, yes, okay. I have. Yes, and okay. they've done a wonderful job on that, too. 
it doesn't last very long on the floor. Hmm. Nope. There you go. You heard it here first. So if you need to sell something, bring it in here. If you want to buy something, get in here because there's always something new every day. We say so. Thank you. We love it. There you go. Set design for Talk 365 is provided in part by Consign and Design. You know, Josh, this is starting to look awfully familiar. Uh, it's a reboot. Well, I thought we saw the same thing about Doesn't two years ago. Ah, uh, you're thinking of the prequel. You know I, Wait, I thought the prequel the was... Director's cut. Okay, so I'm thinking of the unrated extended special edition. See, back in 1977. Shh, guys, save it for the movie show. Set design for Talk 365 is provided in part by Consign and Design. Look at all this cool stuff at Consign and Design. Amongst the cool stuff, Holly's new table that she's been working diligently, uh, <laughs> not yet, on. Looks like she's just been diligently gathering stuff with which to, yep, you were supposed to be working on that there table That's and not shopping. Well, Jane is busy. I, but how am I supposed to we do it myself without the we? I can't do that by myself. You do it yourself by yourself. Oh my goodness, don't worry about it. Okay, so here's the deal. I'll do a big reveal uh, when we have the event. How's that? So you don't have to wait around. That'd be great if I knew what event you were talking about. Oh, you should probably know about that. Here, get out your calendar because you're going to definitely need to be here. So Jaina have I, and I have been fixing for a fun thing to do the day before Mother's Day. Uh, Rich, do you need a porch chair, by the way? Well, I actually have two porch chairs that I would use more if they looked cool. If they looked super cool? Yeah. So basically, that's what we're going to do. Uh, go find a porch chair at a DI, or not even a porch chair, any kind of cool chair. Grab that one for me. Um, it's basically this. These guys are famous for it. People come from all over to grab their cool porch chairs this time of year. Shabby chic. Shabby chic. It's unique. It's eclectic. It'll be one of a kind. Go and ransack your DIs, your savers, your yard sales, your mom's house all of the above, get yourself a cool porch chair, just look for shape, look for structure, being good, that's all you really need, and then come in here on the 7th with Jaina and Erica and I, and, and of course Rich, and we will have food trucks. We're gonna have, of course, everything, there's gonna be big sales here at the store, the paint will be on sale, all the supplies will be here, and we're gonna have a whole painting day. It will be so much fun. I would love it if you would send me your pictures as you find your porch chairs and show me what you've got, and if you come in here and sign up to win, you will get a porch chair that they put together. I think they'll have a couple, a little set that we'll be giving away. So we'll talk about this much more. Rich, did you get all that information? What, what? I get a bunch of boo hockey because I'm shopping and we got to go, man. I got plenty of that info, but I got plenty of stuff too. You didn't know any of that two minutes ago. What did I say? You said that Consign Design was awesome and that we're going to be doing an event on uh, May 7th, just before Mother's Day. We're going to paint chairs and stuff and wow. you could win a chair and... Um, okay, he listens. That's fine. I just, that was good. Actually, I'm slightly... Okay, you keep shopping. All right, so there you go, everybody. Consign and Design. Thank you, Jane. And thank you, Erica. Thank you for helping me paint my table. Are you going to help me throw to this? Let's get out of here, man. We have another shoot to go to. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the beach. Everybody, have a wonderful day. Please join us tomorrow. Thanks for watching Talk 365. Rich, is that the ice cream truck? I think I need some of that.